My name is Lauren Greenfield. I'm the Art and Public Places Administrator for the City of Longmont, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about Shock Art. Um, Shock Art was a project that was proposed to the City of Longmont Art and Public Places Commission in about 2009 or 2010. Um, several people had traveled to the cities north of us, Fort Collins and Loveland, and had seen their wonderfully designed and creative electrical boxes that had been painted. We um, got in contact with the Longmont Power and Communication Group and they were all gung-ho about the project and said, yes, we would love to have the boxes painted. Um, and since that time, we have painted 13 boxes throughout the city. The Shock Art program has been enormously successful and well received in the community, um, both because it's a high exposure project with boxes placed throughout the city and there's a design that everybody enjoys and likes to see people do tours. Um, and so at this point, we believe that it will continue and continue strongly. Um, I believe at last count there are about 120 electrical boxes throughout the city of Longmont. So I hope that it continues to employ and um, recognize the local artists who have applied for these and give them the opportunity to shine and put their work in Longmont. We have a really cool selection process for this project. We ask the artists each to submit a small box or maquette um, with their proposed design on it. We invite the entire community to come vote for their favorite box. So we've held that process two years um, and we've received about over 400 votes each time. People always wonder about how artwork is selected and for this one you are all invited to come and vote for your favorite boxes. I'm Deb Cameron, Customer Services and Marketing Manager at Longmont Power and Communication. When they came to us with the request to paint the boxes, we responded to that request. And that's what a community, the kind of thing a community utility is all about. These boxes are safe. They're grounded. And, and some of the safety precautions that we tell artists are to not put their brushes or things within doors of the switchgear boxes, not to open up the switchgear boxes, just to paint on them. Having artwork on our switchgear boxes connects the energy in the community with the energy of art in the community. Um, people see an area that beautifies their neighborhoods and their shopping centers, and they see that that has to do with um, how they also get electricity to power their homes and power their businesses. And you know, it's it's a a, a beautiful expression of art connected with community service. My name is Amy Matthews, and this is my my box design for the City of Longmont's Chalk Art Project, and it's called Sunkist. When I started painting, I actually just freehand painted it um, and went from there. I did the I painted the entire box red and then just freehand painted the sunflowers on and just painted it like I would normally paint on a canvas but on a box. <laughs> I used a variety of paints. Um, when I paint at home, not on a big box here, <laughs> I use a heavy body acrylics. And um, so I pretty much used the same paint for this for most of the steps. The only uh, part that I differed on that was the the red base I did use latex paint so that's latex but the sunflowers everything else is high quality heavy body acrylics the city of Longmont um, they primed the boxes for all of the artists so when we started we had basically a fresh palette to go on and then when we were completed they came and they varnished it and I'm not sure what kind of varnish they used, but once they put the varnish on that really sealed it it was a little nerve-wracking. I had never done anything like this before. And so part of me was kind of worried that it was going to be a popularity contest. Who had the most friends and family to get in there and vote for them? But I found that a lot of people, a lot of strangers just voted for it. People I just saw later on said, oh, hey, you did that box. I voted for you, which felt good. <laughs> so. I'm really happy with the choice of location for the box. Um, when I heard it was at Sunset Middle School, I thought, how perfect, Sunflower Sunset. And then I learned a little bit more about the school and, and was happy to hear about their arts program that they have. And I actually did go in and speak with one of the sixth grade art classes and talk with them, the students, about the box, and that was, that was a fun day. 
Well, they asked me what my inspiration was, and it might sound cliche, but the truth is, I, uh, you know, it might be kind of obvious, but I'm a huge fan of Vincent Van Gogh, always have been. I remember when I was there, age sixth grade, saving up my allowance to buy a book of his collected works, and I still have that today, so that was fun. But then later that night, even more fun, the question I got was, the later that night was um, the art, art in downtown Longmont, the Art Walk event, and I was painting in the street for Dabble Paint and Sip, a place that I work at, and one of the kids who was in the class that day came up to me, and his friend looked at me and said, are you an eighth grader? So that, I think, was the best question, because I was, yeah, yeah maybe in 1987. <laughs> I'm Donna Goodwin. I'm the art teacher at Sunset Middle School. I've been here for the past seven years. Um, we love working with the local community, and I think having a community uh, filled with artists is really important to our kids. Uh, many of their parents are artists. It's something that they're very comfortable with and familiar with. We like having artists come and talk with us at school, so it's not something that's just an academic subject or something special, but something that's in their lives. We love the art in public places. They can see the art around them all of the time. Uh, the kids go out uh, and interact during the special events with the artist. Um, it's something that makes art very real to them. Amy Matthews was gracious enough to come in and donate her time and explain to the kids how she painted it, uh, the way that she works, how she uses um, the thick, heavy paint with the lines, the sparkles in it the kids loved. Um, they like to know what her influences were, how she works as a full-time artist. Um, several of them thought that she was just a big kid, uh, which was fun. They related to her and had great conversations with her. Um, and it was nice because then it was not something that was off that they couldn't ever look at or touch or get close to, but something that when, once they knew the artist, it was just made by a person that they knew and had met. I'm Megan Lesage, and the title of this piece is Imagine. It was inspired by John Lennon's song, Imagine, but it wasn't intended to illustrate the lyrics of the song. It was intended to capture the spirit of imagination. Um, and I also wanted to send a message of hope. And the story of the box kind of starts at the top, which people often miss because it's hard to see up there. But there's a person that's filled with doubt and they're looking down upon an open book and from the book there's a seedling of hope that's growing and out of the seedling there are these little shoots that are kind of going down the sides and that's how you that's what are making up the sides of the box um, and each box is just supposed to be a possibility oh, I tried to find imagery that communicated all of those things, so possibilities, hope, imagination. And one of my favorite sides is the side with the dandelions because those are what you wish on as a kid. And it's kind of a beautiful idea that you make a wish and you kind of watch it blow away and you don't really know whether it's going to come true or not, but you just let it go and hope for the best. Um, and that's just something that I wanted this box to communicate was that possibilities are in everything and I feel like the older we get the less we see them the less we notice those chances so I wanted to paint this box to kind of encourage people to stay hopeful and to look for those things in all everywhere they go 